And welcome to the very first episode in the story scene where we actually code something. But first, let's talk a bit about organization and programs you need. So first, the very first program, of course, you need is some editor. I recommend Notepad++ because it's easy and free. And you also need a Blender and some better photo editing software than the normal paint so you can use for example the paint.net and links of course in the description of this video so first just create a folder wherever you want I could call it a tutorial Fuck. Okay. <laughs> um in there I first create a text document, I'm gonna call it info. Then open it with your editor. So first we got two brackets just to open close the file. And then we start with the properties. First the name so this is what's going to be shown in your vehicle selector afterwards and I'm going for the greens green. no better big screen and then we got the brand brand and I'm just going green ah the mistake and then we get the the authors and that's of course me And the type that's a prop, so just something you place down and has no real active function. And then we get to the colors. We actually, of course, we only have one color, but uh, yeah. Uh, before that, we need to define the default. PC. A PC file is just a configuration file um, so the game knows for example you have a car and different variations and in this PC file you store which parts come together for the specific um, type of car and yeah the default one is just if you click on a car as, so you open up your um, editor you weak a selector with control E and then select one car. At the next thing you got the uh, different variations and in top right corner you also already got something um, already got one selected and that's your default. Yeah. So next got colors, just white as a standard. This does doesn't really affect uh, really the colors uh, you want to later have. So we, of course you get textures and just one, 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 one. Well, pearl white seems to be um, yeah sounding better. 
So that's already our info file, just save it in the right format. So control alt s for me and go to the select the JSON file in this drop down and save. So you should see that this got now these formats and yeah. Get any errors? Look for the comma, com comma, commas. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and you can already create a new file, and that's going to be our main JB file. Again, open and close the document with two brackets, and we then got different sections in one JB file. But most of the time, you only use one. So. No, uh, no. Screen. There you go. And then we need uh, the um, information section. Information. Again, authors. This will not be displayed in any way in BMG Drive, but just for yeah in-game stuff. So in the physics engine of the game, or so a anybody knows whose script that is. What is BMG? Well. And also the name. Green. Yeah, there we go. And then the next thing we need is the slot type. Of course, you can pause when you want. But, uh, uh, the slot type is. Yeah, you got different slots as I just explained. With the default, so you got different slots where the parts are in. So you get in the vehicle editor with Control W, you open it and you got different drop downs and sub parts and stuff. So what we're just going to for the main for the main slot because yeah, come on, right? Because this is the uh, the engine starts to build your um, yeah vehicle or object in BMG Drive every time from the slot type, uh, from the main slot, and that's why we have no other file, so we need it here. And then yeah, we can already go to the nodes. If you don't know what nodes are, just watch the last video, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna know what they are. And yeah, the brackets. This is just to for the game engine to identify um, what section in a bracket is going to be what. So got our ID, the node ID. So they got a specific name. And then we got the position on the x-axis. Position on the y axis and position on the z axis. And comma, don't forget comma, that's important. If you start up the game, uh, that's only one thing that's bad about this. You just start the game again. If you call something, you can't just drag it, it won't work. We got some different properties for our nodes. We can type in now something like, yeah, freak. Friction graph is going to determine the friction the node has, and the weight, of course, material, collision, self collision. Self collision means um, if it's going to collide with the with parts of the same vehicle. So yeah, just for you to know that. 
bottom difficulties part of course are the beams because they got way more way more properties so just going to buy, go for a simple one and n for node can you uh, nickname it whatever you want and m for middle because we need ref nodes for the game to know where the nodes are actually um, so where a car is pointing and it's also helpful for AI so it knows where to drive so the middle of the car is always uh, on the right spot and it also triggers things like checkpoints but yeah got zero zero so really just the middle and we need three more for yeah front no back front it's not more and up left middle and back or front so we go for node no front uh, no for left we go and then we're gonna have on the x-axis again zero and then I think that's minus yeah that's minus one and zero then we got the up one and new for node up uh, zero oh wait that's wrong not on your y-axis on the z-axis of course well as I know cuz I'm German so the y-axis is the one that points up but of course we have we're going to do it all the way around so you can understand it so zero and one of course the really size of the object I like to do point do the um, note that's on the very yeah maybe on the very left side on the upside of course this is going to be my ref node so I already got a little box where I put my uh, the car is going to be sorry for that and then we need a node for the back yeah so there minus one zero yeah so those are our first nodes and as I just said we need some ref nodes for the game for reference so node knows the axis where is it pointing and stuff this is actually not really that hard so let's see there and we'll do first uh, yeah ref just forgot I need to think about it. the back one of course and we got our left and the up one I think that's it isn't it? Yeah, it's, that's it. Of course, you have um, left corner and right corner. Um, yeah, that's the uh, front left and front right corner for AI, I think it is. But uh, I don't think uh, green screen is gonna need an AI. So. Oh shit. So, this is important. Um, that oh wait a second. So these ones, um, this one got no comma, but this one does because uh, yeah. Um, so we go for NM because it's so oh, main reference node, and back one is NB, and uh, and L is the left one, and the oh, up one is the NU. So we can, we should be able to hit uh, save now. Yeah, we should actually. Um, so control ls to save as a select all types, and we go for a blues 
doing important dot jbeam because that's the language we're coding and we yeah can now start uh, to bring the our own mod into the mods folder and then start the game so if you now go into our folder we created at the beginning of Toro we create a new folder called we he calls well actually and then in there another new folder called blue screen in my case and you just get copy control C those both right in there then we take this right click and go to send to or whatever it is in English and choose the zip compromised folder and call it in my case blue screen so then we can copy this into your bmg drive mods repository what I call it blue screen actually of course it's green screen ah there you go and if you've done this you can wait what why did I just rename this to tutorial uh, I don't know so Ah, there you go. Well, if you now press Control E to open up your vehicles tab. So what I want to meant with the default PC, if you now just click on this, and I didn't select anything, and it says uh, this thing for default. So that's a default PC file. Good children. And we should see it right there. Ah, just sold falling down, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you press Control N, you see that's the. Oh, I actually flipped the back one. It always happens. I don't know why, but well. I just can rename it to front, so don't really matter. So we got our up reference node, or normal reference node, or left reference node, and our back. Well, we can. Yep. Um. So back just gonna but it's actually it. for this tutorial next to uh, bit more about the nodes and the special properties so if you don't want to miss it just hit that subscribe button and like and comment and see you guys next time